My husband and I decided to do something together that was completely out of the ordinary and would possibly break us. We decided to run a marathon together. If you don't know, a marathon is 26.2 miles and this challenge felt right up our alley. For two people with nearly 10 years of marriage under our belts, four small children, too many animals, and a demanding work life, what could go wrong, right? We set out on this huge goal with 20 weeks of training and a lot of false confidence. Now, today's the day where we put it all to the test. All right, it's race morning. It's race day. Race day, walking Lots to the- preparation. We are walking to the starting line. It is dark and there's a lot of people here. Okay, so we are making guesses of our times. I. My goal is to get at five hours or like right under. Like I am happy with a 459, 58. Like I'm happy with that. Anyway, I think Ethan's gonna finish at a 445 and I wanna finish within 15 minutes of him. That's my goal because I don't want him to wait around forever for me. My goal is to finish 430 and have to wait around forever. He really wants to beat me by a landslide. So. I know he's gonna beat me. He's got six inches of height on me. He's faster, he's a boy. But I've done this before, he hasn't. And I know what the pot, I know what the bonk out feels like. I feel like we're gonna finish within 15 minutes of each other. Okay, we're starting. Here we go. One complete. Okay, we're at mile two, going over to the bridge, going over to Canada. There's Ethan, right there. All right, mile three, 30 minutes in. Five miles, or seven miles, but I've been keeping a pace under 11 minutes, which is kind of fast for me. All right, going in the tunnel. cool moment. Our friend Brad was there. Ethan got to give him a high five. We're all emotional. This was amazing. Seeing a buddy is... Oh, let's, let's get off with the race. Great mile 12. Halfway. Let's do it again. 13.1 miles more. Let's go. Oh, I'm exhausted. 15 miles. Definitely getting tired. 17 miles. Nine miles left. We're in single digits. We're close. And I've really slowed down. I'm sitting at like a 12 and a half minute pace right now. Getting very tight. 19 miles. 7.2 left. Okay, I've been MA a 22 and a half miles in. I got like a little under four miles left. I am so dead. Definitely a new walk, run, walk, run, walk, run portion. My words aren't coming out right. Yeah, I am not doing well. Okay, anybody who knows me knows I hate beer. I thought it was Gatorade, but he had his meat. Oh, so bad. 26.2. We did it. We did it. We got the most boss medals. Did uh, you feel happy that you did it? That was, yeah. I'm glad I did the hardest thing I'll probably ever do. Yeah. In my life. It was really hard. Um, I felt really good till about halfway but I went out way too fast because it was just exciting it was so exciting and so then the last I would say six no 
Yeah, I would say the last six miles, I was like, walk, run, walk, run. All right, guys, we are on our way back. We've been recapping with each other. Thought we should probably bring you into it and recap with you. Ethan <laughs> finished right under five hours. What was it? Four fifty-four. Four. That's really good. Four fifty-four. So, and then I finished at five fifteen. Five fifteen something. Um. So he beat me by more than fifteen minutes. Sorry. I'm just not realizing that. I thought he like literally finished at like. 4.59 or something. I didn't realize it was six minutes before five hours even. Yeah. So, yep. He beat me by 21 minutes. <laughs> um, and man, even holding my arm up to hold this camera is killing me. Okay, favorite part and least favorite part. So, my favorite part was going over to the bridge, over the bridge to Canada. It was really pretty. But then, second favorite part, it's like a two in one because it was both Canada. Uh, when you come out of the tunnel, the underwater tunnel, uh, back into the US, our friend Brad <laughs> was out there. And that was like my favorite part because seeing somebody that you are friends with, it just means a lot. And I got like emotional during it. And it was just great. It was super fun. Least favorite part, I grabbed what I thought was a Gatorade and it was a beer. I hate beer. I literally just let it dribble out of my mouth it's in like, front of the guy. <laughs> I was like, blah, 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 back in the cup. It was horrible. And then there was no water station for like a mile. And I'm like, this is the worst. Like the worst. I just have beer taste in my mouth. My favorite part was watching like the herd of people go up the bridge to Canada. There were so many people and it looked almost like 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 zombies like it was just like there were so many people all running up, up the bridge it looked like a migration of humans it was like something off of national geographic which i just thought was very cool um the other two favorite parts i'll just throw these in. it's all basically part of the bridge same thing when we turned the corner and came into canada there was a freighter that was in the river and you're running alongside a freighter that's in the water next to you the entire time. And it's like, where in the world do you get to do a marathon? Where you get to run? Well, one, do an international running, go to a different country, but also run next to a freighter. It's just like, it was really cool. Um, I really, really liked crossing the finish line. The end was my favorite part. So now the real marathon begins, which is dealing with our children, our four kids, till bedtime. After, with no other spouse to pull on. Yeah. Last time though? We have no, we have no spouse to, to ask to take care of our children. Last time though, last year, we did our marathon, or I did my marathon, and then we drove three hours home, and then we had a party at our house that night. Not for the marathon, a church party. And I was like, this was the dumbest decision I've ever made because I was just, oh, I'm so tired. Like right now, holding the camera up, it's killing me. It's killing me. So thanks for watching, you guys. That's this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I hope it- well, yeah, then. Yeah, this is where I was supposed to end the video, but I didn't. So here's some clips from our other videos and we'll see you next time. Bye.